Susan Murphy was an ordinary person. Planning an ordinary wedding. She wanted to live an ordinary life. Then one day, a meteor struck. Boom. The meteor knocked Susan down. When she got up, she was a giant. She was a monster. She was Genormica. Far out in space, an evil alien named Galaxer watched Genormica from his computer. The human has soaked up the quantonium from the meteor, Galaxer said. It's made Genormica big and strong. But the quantonium is mine. Galaxer said. I must have it to rule the world. Get her. He ordered his robot. The robot raced to Earth. When Genormica saw the robot, she didn't think she could beat it. Luckily, she had some help. When you're a monster, it's good to have monster friends. There is Dr. Cockroach, Ph.D., and B.O.B., and the Missing Link, and Insectosaurus. The giant robot chased Genormica. Genormica felt like an ordinary girl. Ordinary girls do not fight robots. But she knew she had to try. Genormica battled the robot on a big bridge. Crash! The robot fell down. I did it, said Genormica. The robot failed. Galaxer's computer told him. I'll get that human myself. Galaxer shouted. Galaxy's ship sped through space. When Galaxer found Genormica, he beamed her up to his ship. I want the quantonium. Galaxer yelled at Genormica. He trapped her, then pulled a lever. The quantonium left Genormica's body. It filled a ball on top of a statue. Genormica grew smaller and smaller. She was back to being Susan Murphy, small and ordinary. Galaxer hooted with glee. When I was young, everyone was mean to me, he said. But it won't happen anymore. Now everyone will be just like me. Galaxer stepped into a machine. The quantonium glowed. Stamp. Out came a copy of Galaxer. Then another and another. Hundreds of Galaxers came to life. They were clones of the evil alien. They were ready to take over Earth. Take away the human prisoner. Galaxer ordered some clones. But the clones were really Susan's monster friends in disguise. They had snuck on board to save her. The monsters led Susan away. Quickly, said Dr. Cockroach. We must destroy Galaxer's clones. You go on without me, Susan said. I can't help. I'm not Genormica anymore. The monsters didn't want to, but they had to leave Susan. To the computer, said Dr. Cockroach. I'll shut down the cloning machine. Dr. Cockroach got to the computer. He got to work on the wires. But clones were coming at them. Gulp. B.O.B. swallowed some clones. The missing link fought off the others. There were more clones. And they found Susan. Susan dodged this way and that. Wow. Susan said to herself. Small, ordinary Susan Murphy is getting away. Maybe she could defeat Galaxer after all. Just then the computer said, the clone machine is shut down. The clone army is defeated. Close all doors, yelled Galaxer. Galaxer had trapped the monsters. Only Susan was free. I still have the quantonium and robots, said Galaxer. Crush her, he ordered the robots. Susan knew she had to act quickly. She zipped past robots and lasers. Susan raced to Galaxer. She raised her ARM to strike and hit the statue. The statue fell on top of Galaxer. He was trapped. The quantonium ball shattered. The quantonium spilled all over Susan. Genormica was back. All the lasers and fighting had wrecked the ship. Crack. The ship was breaking apart. 
This ship will explode in two minutes, said the computer. Oh, no. Janormica said. She punched through a door and rescued her friends. She held the monsters tight. Down they fell. As the walls began to buckle. Five seconds to destruction. The computer's voice rang out. Four, three, two. Then Susan saw something amazing. Insectosaurus had turned into a butterfly and had come to help. Everyone climbed onto Insectosaurus. Away the monsters flew, just as the computer said, zero. Boom. The ship exploded. The aliens had lost. The monsters had won. Now Susan knew she was not ordinary. No matter her size, she would always be Genormica. The End <laughs>